I stumbled upon this movie randomly a couple months ago, and in my quest to now look for something quick to review before Elden Ring comes out, I've decided to give this one a shot. It's not a bad movie, but it's not great either. It could have been fine as a cutesy love story, but I'm sure they wanted some fantasy and action to draw more people in. This leaves the whole thing as unfocused and the pacing is all over the place. It's kind of cool to check out, if only for the odd title and premise, but don't expect much out of this. Uh, okay, how do I even explain this story? Hilariously, the main plot is about getting put in the friend zone. That's not even a joke, that's seriously the catalyst for the story. You change boyfriends like you change your clothes. This time won't be any different. It is. We're going to get married. Oh. You, you, if you were interested in other guys, why did you keep hanging out with me? Are you kidding me? Don't tell me you didn't know how I felt! Were you just leading me on? It's not like that. I've treasured our friendship these past five years. Trust me, it wasn't my intention to hurt you. After getting his heart broken, our lonely loser, amateur musicianist Kyung Chun is transformed into a cow. There's no real reason behind this, there's just some kind of dark magic turning heartbroken people into animals now. As if that wasn't enough, there are bounty hunters trying to extract animal livers and a giant robot furnace trying to kill them all. So Kyung Chun is on the run and trying to hide for his life. During one such encounter, the legendary magician Merlin, who was, like, reincarnated as a toilet paper roll, uh, he shows up to fight the incinerator monster and inadvertently transforms a falling satellite into a young girl. The girl's name is Kitsat One, and she's got kind of a superhero thing going on, being able to fly and shoot rocket punches at adversaries. Merlin wants to destroy the incinerator monster to restore balance to the world, and Kitsat One fell in love with Kyung Chun while he was still a musicianist. So much of the story jumps between the relationship between Kyung Chun and Kitsat One, as well as the battle she has against the bounty hunter and the incinerator to protect him. That's a lot to take in and certainly makes the movie sound busy, but I think it could have worked, at least it had the potential to. The annoying thing is that the story is clearly meant to be focused on these two, and yeah, that is the focus, but there are so many little side plots that don't really go anywhere or get answered. This witch shows up explaining that Kyung Chun can safely live in a village of animals, but he'd have to abandon any hope of becoming human forever. There's also a part where Kyung Chun's disguise is destroyed in public, and Kitsat One has to defend him from a crowd of people. Stuff like this is fine, and it does help deepen the characterization by having some conflict in there. But it also stems from this whole, you're a cow aspect of the story. It seems really unnecessary, it doesn't add a whole lot, and it even distracts from the good parts a little bit. When it's just Kyung Chun and Kitsat One having their moments and getting to know each other, those parts are good. That's the strength of this movie. It's a fun little slice of life kind of thing, and I feel like I would have liked to see more of this. But you can't because half the movie is about this guy who turned into a cow and these other ridiculous elements. I shouldn't be too harsh on it, honestly, because this is obviously a kid's movie. Actually, with the whole fantasy element and the fairy tale vibe it gives, I get a strong feeling of this being like a Studio Ghibli film. Just like a bootleg, partially because the animation quality isn't as good, but also because the story and characters are nowhere near as strong. Compared to something like Spirited Away, which is extremely fantastical and over the top, but that movie stayed focused on its goal and themes. In this movie, it feels like the story is at odds with itself. It's like they wanted to write a love story with a little bit of a sci-fi angle to it, but it's supposed to be a kid's movie, so we'd better throw in that the main character's a cow. Why is he a cow? Who cares? Make it work. Use it as an excuse to have some fights. Everyone loves anime fights. 
Everything else about the movie is kind of okay. I can understand people saying that the two main characters are boring and cliche, but I find the relationship to be funny and I feel like they play off each other well. Granted, the premise isn't wholly original. It's basically Chop It's just a lot less pretentious. Another good example would be My Wife Has No Emotion. It's very casual and comedic in a deadpan sort of humor, which is something that Satellite Girl tries here and there. <laughs> well, I definitely felt that. Oh, you mean the electricity? I felt it too when you reached out to touch me just now. <sighs> and when I heard your beautiful song from space. <clears throat> but again, half the movie is something completely different, and it's not as strong as the central love story. I really wish half this story wasn't about this weird world building and the antagonist, because it doesn't go anywhere and it constantly throws off the pacing. Right when these two are getting close, the story has to remind you about these dark forces going on in the background. If they just made a simple romantic comedy, then I think it would have made for a stronger movie, especially when the alternative feels like it's trying to do fantasy merely for the sake of it. Because the story jumps around so much, with plots suddenly starting and ending, I figured that this might have been a direct adaptation of a comic, or a manga. That sort of write-the-story-as-you-go kind of approach would explain why Kyung Chun tries to go to school early on, but then that plot is quickly dropped, or how their money problems are only brought up when the story finds it very specifically convenient. It all feels more like a collection of side plots that are only somewhat connected, rather than being a full, coherent story. That being said, as far as I can tell, there is no original source. This is it. They wanted to make the movie like this. Well, alright then. For what it's worth, all my complaining aside, I do kind of like this movie. Not a ton, but there is something about it that's charming. The general animation and art style is... good. Nothing really to say about it, it doesn't stand out a whole lot on that front, but it's not bad either, and it is enjoyable to watch. There is some tiny nitpicky stuff like how one of Kitsat 1's rocket punch arms just appears in a single frame, but it's not a big deal. It's also pretty short, rounding out at about 80 minutes, so you won't waste a ton of time with it. There's really not a whole lot to say about it, but it is memorable, I'll give it that. If you want something odd to watch, then this isn't a bad choice, but it's not a big deal either, and nothing that's really worth seeking. Thanks for watching my review on Satellite Girl and Milk Cow.